If you suffer from diabetes, you may experience pain and numbness from swelling joints. Well, Dr. Michelle Sassmore offers a state-of-the-art technique to help relieve that pain. 40 million people in the United States have diabetes. About 50% of those people over their lifetime will develop numbness and tingling and probably pain called neuropathies in their feet. Those sensations move up from the toes up into the legs, um, causing a lot of discomfort as well as pain and also causing what we call proprioceptive problems, which is you can't tell where your feet are, so it makes walking, going up and down steps difficult because you stumble, um, trip, and can even fall. A certain number, probably 15 to 20 percent of people with neuropathies, again, over their lifetime, have the possibility of developing what we call a neuropathic ulcer, which is because they step on something or their shoes rub and they can't feel it. So then it turns into a sore or a wound on their foot, which can lead over time to infection, bone infection, and possibly amputation. In the 1980s, Dr. Lee Dellen, who's a plastic surgeon, um, pioneered some research and surgery on diabetic nerves, which indicated that the nerves are swollen because of the abnormal glucose metabolism. And when the nerves swell and then they go through tight places, and there are three or four tight channels on your legs and feet, those nerves can be compressed. And part of that compression is what creates the problems in the nerves causing the sensations of pain and numbness, and that if we go and release the pressure at those compression points, that oftentimes we will decrease pain significantly, about 85% in, in the patients that have been operated on, and the numbness we can decrease about 75%. First, in order to determine the level of um, damage to the nerves, um, Dr. Dillon has developed a special test called a PSSD, which is Pressure Specific Sensitivity Device, um, which is a um, test on the outside. There's no needles, there's no poking on the inside, and it tests how well your um, sensation system works on your, for instance, your toe, your heel, the side of your leg, and it graphs that on a computer so that we can tell um, which nerves are compressed and probably how badly damaged they are by how poorly they function. Once we have that test, the nerves are then released at three points, one on the lateral side just below the knee, one on the top of your foot, and one on the inside of your ankle going down into your foot. That releases all the major nerves that bring sensitivity to your foot. Uh, the insurance companies do pay for the evaluation and they do pay for this operation.